it's Betsy and today we have a fun video. We're going to be testing out a full face of Fenty Beauty. Now some of these products I've had in my collection for a while such as the matchsticks and the gloss bombs and pretty much the rest of it is new to my collection because Fenty had a friends and family sale where you could save 25% off your entire purchase. Well then on top of that, they also included an extra 10% off. So it was 35% off, so I got a whole bunch of stuff. Now as I said, some things I've already had, like some of the lip balms, my bronzer, some of my highlighters, gloss balms, and things like that. But most of this is new um, that I've never tried. And even, like I had the matte foundation in my collection. I haven't tried it yet, but I also bought the dewy foundation so i'm not sure which one i'm going to use today but i figured it would be fun to test so first thing we're going to start off with is our eyes like normal this is the fenty pro filter amplifying base i've never tried this before and excuse my brows they are getting nice and full i have an appointment to go get them done tomorrow and i don't know how y'all are, but whenever I have an appointment to go get them done, typically a few days before, I stop messing with them. So they'll have the maximum growth before I go get them waxed. So that way, like I don't feel like I'm wasting my money, if that makes sense. So we're just smoothing that out. Okay, so one thing I'll definitely tell you is that eyeshadow base has no pigment to it so it's really not evening out my eyelids at all which is fine not everything has to do that and I'm not I'm gonna be using some color today but I'm not using a whole lot of bright color so we're gonna start with the elf eye tapes Fenty does not make them and I probably wouldn't spend the money on them as is I, don't know. I like the elf ones because they're inexpensive but I probably wouldn't pay Fenty prices for eye tapes. It's eye tapes. So I have two of the snap shadows. I purchased the two newest ones, the number nine, which is the wine set, which looks like this, because I do love these types of tones. And I figured these might be good to travel with, and it was cheaper to <laughs> buy two than one. So, and then I also got the Money Honey, or no, sorry, Money one, which I think is the one that I want to use today because I am a sucker for a green eyeshadow. You know. So I'm gonna grab my BK Beauty 201. I don't have very many brushes. I do have two foundation brushes because the both times when I bought this, I bought the sets with the foundation because it was cheaper, especially since I wanted to try the primer as well to get it with it. So the first color I'm going into is Time Money, which is like a good sagey green. So we're gonna apply that all in our crease. Now, I didn't swatch these. I guess I could swatch them. I don't wanna to have to keep going back and repeating the names cause that's a pain in the hiney. So these are the first four. So the mats definitely swatch a little weak. That's okay. Not everything has to swatch perfectly. But the shimmer seemed to do okay. I don't know what it is, I'm off my game today. But it's been a long few weeks and just trying to get back to normal. Now, there is quite a bit of kick up in the pan, as you can see. So if that bothers you, I'm just letting you know that is not something that typically bothers me, so. So far, the color's going on well at least for this. I've been hesitant about Fenty shadows because when I've swatched them in store, nothing super impressed me before. And 
you know, they were a little expensive for what you're getting if they didn't perform great. And a lot of the ones before were very, very neutral, which I don't mind a neutral palette, but I prefer something that has a little bit more color to it. And whenever they got bad reviews, it was like, okay, well, I'm going to stay away from those. But Katie and Marie, which is someone I love to follow on YouTube and Instagram, um, bought this palette. And it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. I was like, well, we'll give it a go. So now I'm going to go into the BK Beauty 205, which is a little bit more dense. And we're going to go into the brown shade, which is rubber bands. And use that to deepen, not deepen up the crease. So we're going to go into the deeper shimmer, which is Fat Pockets, to see if that works to deepen up the crease because rubber bands definitely didn't do anything except for make my eye look dirty. And that is not the look that I'm going for today. Okay, so rubber bands works. And it's not like a super duper shimmer where, you know, some shimmers you can use in the crease because they're almost more satiny. And I would say that this is definitely more in that satiny realm. I mean, I'm not going to do a super complex eye look today because it's kind of pointless. Um, not really pointless, but I just wanted something easy. To me, these shadows don't scream super intricate, which I could be wrong, but they just, to my, my understanding of eyeshadow says basic for these. So I'm going back in that 201 brush and going over the edges. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, this is the ColourPop E4, which is just a big flat shader brush. I'm going to grab my Too Faced Glitter Glue, because this is what I always use. And I give myself a good little dollop. Do a dollop. Do a dollop a daisy. Do y'all do that? Like where you say something and then you get it stuck in your head is like one of the theme songs, like the Daisy Sour Cream commercial. Theme song stick in my head. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Need Receipts, which is the green shade and apply that over the middle portion of my eye. That's pretty. It's not as shimmery as what I typically like, but you know, it is what it is and it still shows up as a shimmer. So it could be worse, could be better, but it could be worse. Okay, now I'm going to go into the gold shade, which is Flash Money right here. And apply that to the inner portion. That looks pretty. That looks really pretty. So the Flash Money shade is probably one of my favorite shades in here. That and the Time is Money. But overall, I don't think the look is terrible. It's just not my best look. But I think it's okay. You know, part of the thing is, you know, I think that this... This eyeshadow look to me is, I don't want to say basic, but it is basic. Like, it screams 
something quick and easy, which is fine. I mean, I'm not opposed to quick and easy. It's just this is a little bit more than what, or a little bit less than what I typically like to do. I'm sitting there saying quick and easy and then all they can think of is whenever Angelica, when she says something like that and she's like, that's what she said. So, and if you're wondering who I'm saying, Angelica, Angelica Nequist, she is one of my favorite creators on YouTube and has been for years for colorful eyeshadow looks. Absolutely amazing. I look like I have a little bit of a bruised eye because the shadow got down. I'm using the hydrating primer. This is soft silk. Yeah, hydrating primer. But I think I'm going to use the matte foundation. I think that this one will match better. This is 210. And I did check colors. Um, but I purchased both of these in quarantine so as you can see they're really pale for my hand but i think that they'll work on my face and i bought 230 and both of these are supposed to be neutral but i think that this is the 230 and that's the 210 uh, i think the 230 pulls definitely more cool tone in the hydrating and then i think that the 210 in the matte pulls more warm tone and i think that the warm tone is going to work better on me that's part of the reason why i wanted to go ahead and use the hydrating primer because i have good skin um i have pretty normal skin but you know i'm 37 years old so i like to use a hydrating base hydration kind of helps when you're at my age for it not to settle in your wrinkles so i'm going to try the brush this is the 115 foundation so it's a nice big foundation brush and we'll start by blending that out yeah see that works because one this is not or at least to me, this is not a full coverage foundation. This is more on the medium light side. It's evening, but I don't think it's doing like the most for my skin. I think I need a little bit more. I am looking mostly ghostly though right now. But see, the problem is buying foundation online, and I am not someone, when I buy a product, if it doesn't work, I either try to find ways to make it work or I give it away. Because I don't like to return makeup even though there's a lot of time to spend money on stuff and I'm like, oh, this really doesn't work. I should return this because it ends up in the trash and then I feel terrible but yeah I do look mostly ghostly but we can fix it we can warm this up with some bronzer and stuff okay so this doesn't have bad coverage and in any way I bought the matte foundation a while back I hadn't opened it because I try not to keep too many products open at a time. I am just <laughs> weird like that. Like I'll have eyeshadows open all day long powder products, but when it comes to like foundations and concealers, I really try to keep things like if I end up purchasing more than what I'm gonna use right away, I do try to keep them sealed so that way they'll last longer because even though i don't like to waste money and bring stuff back this is the fenty matchstick and mocha this is like the cream contour i have had this one for a while 
this color is the color that I do use most out of it. So, I mean, you can see that's all that's left on my stick. Now, the concealer shade and all that, I don't really use. But I do love the cream contour side. And then this is the other foundation brush by Fenty. This is the, which one is this? 110. Because as I said, the 110 I got whenever from Sephora a while back, I ordered the matte set. And then I got the 115 from Fenty when I ordered everything else. But I figured this would kind of be fun to test out a full face. I typically don't buy a whole lot from one brand and eyeshadows are typically what get me the most, but you know, sometimes I can get sucked into doing other things. So we're gonna use, this is the Pro Filter Concealer. This is the shade 210. So again, this is going to be pale. Yeah. Well, let's see if that gives us a little bit more coverage. So this is the BK Beauty sponge. I got this with the Kate the Great set, but I do love BK Beauty. They're supposed to be announcing a new launch soon, and that makes me excited because, as I said, I love their brushes and such. Okay. Okay, so concealer does not give the most coverage, and I barely have it on my skin, and you can see it's already settling into lines. So I'm not sure how much I'm gonna like this concealer, especially for under the eyes. Let's see. Take some of the matchstick concealer. I kind of warmed it up a little bit on the back of my hand. And this is the match in bamboo. See if that gives me a little more coverage because the other one does not. But I do like the way that that blends out. I've never tried it under my eyes before, but I'm hoping that it kind of helps out that under eye situation because my under eyes look terrible. Like, so bad. Okay, that's a little better. Now, I know a lot of people didn't like the matchsticks for under their eyes, but for me, it was okay. My under eyes already look super cakey, so there's not much I can do about that. So let's go ahead and we'll set the under eyes. This is the Fenty Powder in Butter. I just bought this. Nadia bought this as well. She bought it before I did, and. I saw what it looked like on her and I was like, well, we'll try it. Because the powder is very, very fine. Very, very fine. Like, you know how cornstarch feels? That's kind of what this butter powder reminds me of. Not that that helps my under eyes really at all, but you know, not the worst. Okay, so I have some cream bronzer to try out. So we'll do that first. Let's see, what brushes do we have? Okay, so I have this little complexion brush by It Cosmetics. It's like a tiny one. And I have the cream bronzer shade in macchiato and whenever I, <laughs> I ordered this and this is shade number three and I blended it out on the back of my hand and I was like "Ooh, that's my skin color 
So. But again, my face is quite a bit paler than the rest of me. Because I'm obsessed with sunscreen, which is a good thing. Okay. Not the worst, not the best. Now a lot of these products I will have to try out again. But right now it's just kind of in between. I did buy two of the cream blushes. I bought the orange one, which is Fuego, which is not what I'm gonna use today because this will not go at this look. But I did buy the Rose Latte Blush, which looks like this if I can open up the container. I was kind of disappointed with how tiny these blushes were. I know a lot of people were. Because they weren't cheap. So that's the Rose Latte Blush. So I'm going to grab, this is a ColourPop F20. See if this will pick it up. Okay, yeah. That's a very pretty, neutral, little bit pink leaning blush. Okay, I can deal with that. Okay, so, so far one thing I will say about all the cream products that I'm trying, it is definitely not disrupting the foundation underneath. And I typically do like a matte product on me. I'm just not sure what I'm thinking about these. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna go back into the butter powder and to set the rest of my face. Since now I have everything kind of on. The powder smells good. Trying to see what it smells like. I'm not sure. But it smells good. Okie dokie. So, now let's go into our powder products. So, I have the Fenty Regular Bronzer in Island Thing, which is, I don't remember which one this is, but it's a good warm bronzer. Okay, that works. I like that. Okay, that is definitely giving me life. Giving me much more life again. Okay, and then I purchased, because I already had the Mo Honey and Afternoon Snack bronzer, or highlighter that came in a boxy charm. And then whenever this first came out, this is the Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I purchased this one. But I did purchase the Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule one because I thought that this would make a really pretty glowy blush, which looks like this. Now I'm covered in powder. Covered in powder. Driving myself insane. So let's test this as a blush. So this is the color pop F21. So what we're gonna do is kind of go back and forth between both. Oh yeah. That's pretty. Okay. That helped out quite a bit. Quite a bit. We like that now. Now my face is looking a tad bit better. A tad bit. I mean, his, as I said, the foundation and concealer are not my friends today. And then this is the eyebrow pencil. I like the brush on the end. 
like it feels like I'm using a toothbrush but much denser on my eyebrows and it really helps get any excess product out and this is the shade this is the brow MVP in dark auburn so it's supposed to be like for red hair a little bit I don't know why it's sticking out so far Did y'all see that pop off? Okay, there we go. So I typically like to use, that ain't working real well. Keeps wanting to go back in. There we go. But I like a eyebrow pencil on my eyebrows typically is my favorite way to do my eyebrows. Sometimes it changes, like I'll use a powder or I'll use a pomade, but I always, always, always go back to a pencil for some reason. Like that is my go-to. But this also gives me a good way to see what I like from this brand and to be able to tell you what I think is worth the money. Because there are some things that I'm already testing that I'm like, nope. Wouldn't buy this. Again, well, I can't, I have to say again, because I purchased all this stuff myself. And I think I'm going to, when the Sephora VIB Rouge shell comes around this weekend, because I can save 20%, I think I'm gonna do the same thing with Charlotte Tilbury, because I know a lot of people who talk about so many great things from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so the eyebrows are not my absolute favorite, but they're not the worst either. I can deal with that. So I think I'm gonna go into the Afternoon Snack Mo Honey Highlighter. I think that that will be the prettiest. And this is the Anastasia A23 brush. And I'm just kind of swirling the two together And applying that, isn't that pretty? Love that highlighter. Mm, quite Let's go ahead and line our lips. I am gonna take the Sigma pencil in black eyebrow eyeliner pencil just to tight line my lower lash line. That end keeps breaking off and it's driving me nuts. And this is the MAC Baldly Bare Lip Pencil. And I haven't been big lately in wearing liquid lips. But they had a set of three, I think it was like 30 bucks for the three nude colors, which look like this. So we're gonna wear uncensored, right? Or uncuffed, that's just a good pinky nude. I have worn their liquid lips before. I borrowed my sister-in-law's, the red one, and she was like, you need to try this. And it is a very good liquid lip. I just hadn't bought any because... So that cut off in the middle of recording. 
Okay, but I hadn't bought any of their liquid lips because, well, I didn't really need any more liquid lips at that point. And there wasn't any color that was super unique to my collection. So I'm gonna take the Money Honey palette again, and we're gonna go into that deep green that I used on the top lid with the same brush that I used. There we go, much better. There we go. Now we're gonna kind of blend that out. I love a good green eye look though. I wanna try, and part of the reason why I bought from the Fenty Cell, honestly, and then I got sucked in and bought a whole lot more, was I wanted to try that green eyeshadow palette but it whenever the last time I went to our Sephora, they didn't have it. So I was like, well, I'll look at ordering it online. And then I got notification about the friends and family sale. And I was like, well, we'll try some stuff. And then I was like, well, maybe I should do a full face because, you know, I couldn't pass it up. This is the Fenty Beauty Mascara Full Frontal. Oh, I like that brush. Okay, did it pick up any mascara? Maybe a little. Okie dokie, so there's the mascara. I'm not sure if I am in love with the mascara. I mean, it's not, it's not the worst thing that I put on my eyes, but it's definitely not my favorite prestige mascara, and I'm not sure if I would purchase that again. And now we're gonna use the What It Do setting and spray. Oh, I like this mist. Oh, that smells good. That smells like really good expensive skincare. So, this I would definitely recommend. Okay, let's apply a little bit of the Fussy, is it what it is? No, Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. And I have actually finished off one of these. And when I went to support JCPenney, they had uh, a few months ago, the set that had the full size of this and the Sweet Mouth. So I purchased those. So, let's talk about things that need to be tried more, for sure. I need to play with the foundations some more. The foundation, the matte foundation doesn't have bad coverage. I like the way that it looks on my skin. Um, I need to play with the dewy one, uh, but I do wanna play some more with the foundation. I don't know how it lasts. The eyeshadow primer, isn't anything unique or revolutionary. So this would be something I would definitely pass on. Uh, same thing probably with both of the primers. I have taken and done this with them before I tested them out today. They feel nice, but they're not anything extraordinary. You know, if I'm going to spend prestige prices on a, like, okay, so this is the matte primer so you can see how I mean it's just a primer it doesn't really give any tack or anything like that it doesn't reduce the sign of wrinkles or anything like that so it's kind of basic and basic is not bad but it is not my favorite ah, that's always good on it now I like the way that the hydrating feels but the color pop pretty fresh hydrating primer, I like better and it's cheaper. So, 
that's my thoughts on the primers. The powder is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love the way it makes my skin feel and I love the way it feels in general. Like it has that nice, like so smooth texture. It's very unique. Like as I said, it almost has like a silky cornstarchy feeling and you can kind of see with it on my fingers how my finger prints because that's where wrinkles are look a little less pronounced if that sounds weird like i can see it when i'm looking at it like this it gives a good feeling to it um the matchsticks the mocha one is my favorite i have used that one for a long time and they go on forever the concealer isn't bad especially once you warm it up i like the way that feels so the concealer matchstick and the concealer highlighter that i have in trippin is pretty but it's not the most poppin' highlighter, so it's not my favorite. But one thing I do love about the matchsticks is they all are magnetized and stick together. So, that's nice. The cream bronzer, the one that I bought, kind of blends in with my skin tone. So I don't know if it's my favorite. I need to test it some more. We'll see how pale I get in the winter. The regular bronzer in Island Tang, I do like this bronzer. It's a great shade, um, and I like the undertone to it. The regular concealer, so far, and I have to try it with another foundation, I really do not like it. I don't like it at all. Even on camera, you can see how it is in my lines. The highlighter duos are gorgeous. All of them that I have are gorgeous. I forgot to do something for my inner corner, so we're going to take some... Uh, fire crystal and apply just a little bit there we go to our inner corner so all three of these that i have i would recommend the blushes are good and if you like cream blush not anything bad eyebrow pencil um did its job eyeshadows they're not the best they're not the worst and last but not or not not last but not least love the gloss bombs if you're in the market for lip with lipstick i do like their liquid lipsticks and i honestly really do like their lip balms so i have two of them i have this one which is makeout break and then i bought the orange one which is what is this one called Tang Tang. So that's what those look like. They're nice and pretty. But again, they're nothing extraordinary. So those are my thoughts on all the Fenty Beauty products. Let me know your thoughts down below. But I guess that's it. So we shall see y'all tomorrow. Bye.